Okay friends, so this is the kind of salad you actually want to be eating. We have a creamy, peanutty kind of sauce going on, grilled chicken and loads of fresh veg. This is my version of an Indonesian gado gado. Okay, so gado gado, the special thing about this dish I think is that really lovely like tangy, peanutty, creamy kind of sauce. But first of all, what I want to do is marinate my chicken. So I'm using chicken thigh and this is a really easy way to kind of add lots of colour and flavour to your grilled chicken. Now I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric, some white pepper and some fish sauce. I need some oil in there as well. Now, the great thing about using fish sauce as a marinade is I think it does its job like super quickly. So no need to leave this to marinate overnight or anything like that. I'm just gonna get these guys loaded up onto some skewers and just let them sit around for about 10 minutes or so while I make my sauce. So for our special peanut sauce, what we need is some good old fashioned peanut butter. <laughs> this makes it so easy. You can also add some roasted chopped peanuts as well. I just like the fact that peanut butter, coconut milk, you know, these are things that I have in my cupboard all the time. Coconut milk is what we need here as well. I'm gonna throw some garlic in here as well. Now, we're not cooking this sauce, so you kinda of need to go your own adventure here with how much you know, like pungent garlic you like. I like a fair bit, so I've got a whole clove in there. Now, I also need some palm sugar, squeeze of lime juice, some fish sauce, and then some chili. So again, you choose how you like it here. I'm using a large mild red chili, so this isn't too spicy, um, but you could make it really hot or you could actually leave the chili out too if you want to. And now just blend this till it's really smooth. I love how creamy this is. I love the color as well. It's such a nice fresh kind of dressing. Now for the chicken, you could do this on an outdoor grill. It would be so great for like a poolside or like beachside party, I think. Um, but I'm just gonna do it on my hot plate indoors today. Now these guys are looking pretty good. So let's just turn them over. Ah, see, so, and the, the turmeric really gives you such a nice starting point already on the color of that chicken, which I really love. Um, okay, so they need another kind of three or four minutes, I think, in that pan to cook all the way through. So There's also a really nice one that you could do in advance and pop in the oven, keep nice and warm. Because you're using chicken thighs, they tend to be a bit more forgiving than chicken breast. Okay, so for the other bits and pieces though, while my chicken's just finishing off here, I'm gonna grab a cucumber. And because, I don't know, I, sometimes I'm in the mood for like a decorative cucumber. So I'm using my julienne peeler here to just slice those edges. And then I get some nice, like, cute little decorative cucumber rounds. So here's where we go all crazy with the vegetables. Um, you can go your own adventure here. This is just some of my favorites um, that I like to serve with this dish. Definitely some bean shoots. And you could make individual bowls, but I think it's quite nice to kind of spread this out family style at the table. Everyone can kind of pick and choose what they want in their bowl. So some blanched green beans here. Got some red cabbage, some baby spinach, and now always you have a boiled egg as well. Now I've also got some roast potatoes here as well. These make such a nice addition. I think it's good to have some kind of robust starchiness in here. Now here's my cucumber. Okay, so this chicken is looking really good, lovely color, and I'm gonna pop that straight out onto my platter. And there you go. So this is my version of an Indonesian gado gado, like share plate style. I think it just looks so fresh and actually very kind of like celebratory for a salad. <laughs> okay, so what you wanna do here is a good drizzle of that salad dressing all over. That's so yum. I love like that peanutty creamy, Tangy dressing is just delicious. Mm. And like now you've got all these other bits and pieces to like dip and dunk and mix together. 
yum. Mm. It really is like such a good salad. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, why not hit the subscribe button and that little bell so you always get notified whenever I'm making something delicious. Thanks, bye.